Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have been back off holiday for a while and I haven't unpacked my makeup bag because I thought I'd go through with you what I took on holiday and what I used and what I didn't use and all the rest of it. So I just thought I'd save it and I am going to upload a video with like all little holiday pictures and snippets and stuff but there's just so much bloody footage because <laughs> I filmed that much it's taken forever and I've not got around to doing it. So I'm going to do this video instead because I know it's going to be a lot quicker. So this was my my mini mouse set it was part of a three set i got a little um wallet styled purse um that i've put all paracetamols and stuff in and then i got a bigger box that i put all things in like shampoos and conditioners but this is my makeup and i think you're going to be impressed this is chocker and if i didn't pack it right i couldn't fit everything in so i'm now going to open it and empty it for you guys and show you everything that i have took on holiday with me if i use it or not and everything else and yeah i'll be able to put it away at last i'm just gonna pull out randomly so the first thing i took was my mac soft and gentle highlight i freaking love this this looks just bloody amazing with a tan that's all i'm saying i took this beautiful charlotte tilbury blush right this is one of my favorite blushes ever it's called love glow it is stunning downfall i go brown face goes red <laughs> so the pink blush didn't get used at all it was a waste of time i took my benefits roller lash freaking love this stuff i only put makeup on in the evenings by the way to go out i didn't actually do it any other time i took my collections sheer loose powder uh the reason why i took this is because it's barely there so it kind of goes on any skin tone it did make me look a little bit lighter and i did get a little bit of flashback when taking photos which wasn't great this was a newish gift somebody gave it to me because they can't get on with it this is the rimmel london eyeliner um use this every time i did eyeliner basically every time i loved it i also took this rimmel london sun shimmer bronzer love a bit of bronzer um i did find that i use this every, most days um just to darken my cheeks to make them look a little bit more contoured and things like that and plus it hides redness quite well i also took this righteous butter that somebody has scraped my surname into my partner of course <laughs> because you've got to have a good moisturiser. I'm going to turn that over. My collection's Last Imperfections. Now, I'm not going to lie, this did make my under eyes look really pale, um, but I didn't have a darker one. And do you know what? Once again, you add quite a bit of bronzer to your skin, you can pull anything off. I took this Maybelline eyeliner. Now, this one was actually packed. It's disgusting, by the way. Um, before this one. So, when I got on a holiday, because I need to use this with a brush, it was so much easier just to use that. So, no, I didn't touch that at all one of the first lipsticks that i took was this urban decay vice lipstick in the shade trivial freaking love this stuff but it doesn't last long you know some liquid lipsticks i can put them on and they last forever well this one does not um it lasts i'd say about four or five hours but when you eat and stuff it doesn't even last that da -da -da -da. of course i had to take my heat palette i freaking love this thing um one of the shades that i fully truly fell in love with was he devil um I just loved it i don't know why that was one of my favorite shades um me and my friend though did realize that these naked palettes once you you can only do so many looks with them we're finding um doesn't matter how different you try and do your eyes most of the looks come out quite the same but that looks amazing with a tan that's all i'm saying i also took my trusty naked three palette uh look at the state of it people why can i see pan nothing left and see pan already this one also where's my finger gone there is getting rather low so i'm like disgustingly like heartbroken by this it's just this one's getting low as well but anyway it's still going strong I did use this a couple of times, but I found towards the end of the holiday, especially because I'd got a tan and because I had a red forehead, by the way, my forehead like peeled and burnt like four times. Um, I just, yeah, I, I reached for that one more because once again, adding pink to burnt skin doesn't really work. Birth Kath Kidston hand cream because, well, you have to take hand cream. Well, I do anyway because I'm a freak. I also took this lovely little vial. Now this has my mac face and body foundation i didn't change my foundation color because i know with this if you only put a thin layer on you don't really notice it just gives you a very nice light coverage you chuck a lot on you get a lot of coverage so i took that 
which hid most of my redness, which then I was able to bronze. I know, I know. I also took my MAC Prep and Prime highlighter for under eyes and never used it. I took my lovely Kiko brown lipstick. I have no idea on the shade number. Um, and I did actually wear this a couple of times, a couple of times. You'll notice I've got quite a few lipsticks, by the way. I also took my hourglass because you can't just take one highlighter. I wasn't going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I decided to take two highlighters and that was those two. Love them. You do get quite a bit of fallout from this though. Another lipstick I took was one of these. This was in a gift set um, a couple of Christmases ago. They do last. You can't fault. I can't fault lipsticks. This was in the shade Fearless. And I believe I wore this once. Being brutally honest, once. I also took this concealer. So it's quite darker than the other one. Um, but I found this for touching up around the face, hiding burnt patches, stuff like that. <laughs> yes, I burnt bad. Um, I go a dirty brown, as I call it, on my arms. And my face just peels. So, yes. Lovely, but this is looking disgusting I mean, and I've even took the bung out because it is virtually empty. But take the bung out, people. You can still get a lot more out of it. I also took my Dior lipstick in the shade 865 collection. This is it. It is freaking stunning. This, oh my God, I need to just, ah, uh, one swipe. Ah, uh, two swipes. It's kind of a reddy pinky colour. I absolutely freaking love it. It's one of the old ones because it clicks. It's not good. It's got the band. Love it. I got this in a birch box. It's called Beauty Protected and it's a protect and destangler spray. And it is basically a leave-in conditioner. There's nothing left. It was basically, my child got it. I had not used it um, for like the first week of the holiday. And my child got out of the bath. And I said, have you, um, cause daddy was bathing us. Says, have you washed your hair? Yep. Did daddy put conditioner in it? No. When you've been in the sea and the pool all day, your hair is mank. You need to condition it. And my child's got really curly hair, so it had to be done. And I just got this out because I thought it said it was leaving conditioner. I sprayed my kid's hair. Oh my God. There was no lugs. It, the brush just glided straight through. It is amazing. I've even looked at purchasing one. So hmm. let's go. And I've just realised I've got a dead foot from the way I'm sat. Just to let you know. I also took a nail polish because I find I didn't have the money to go get my toes done. Um, so I usually have them gelled. I didn't have the money to go get them done. So I took this with me. So because I know, I don't know if you ever know, when you go in the pool, you, your toenails, if they scratch on the floor, you tend to lose all your nail polish. So I bought this and I just basically top my toenail polish up every single night. And I had it on my fingernails as well. So it made sense to take it. This was my go-to blush. It was the Elliot Goulding collection from MAC and it's called I'll Hold My Breath. It was just absolutely perfect you can barely see it it's quite dark it's quite bronzy and it just had a hint of pink to it so it was absolutely perfect because let's be realistic the pink one was never going to happen i also took this this is from a birch box this was another beauty protect but this one um is to volumize your hair so this was good when i wanted to do my hair to go out basically absolutely amazing stuff tiny bit left another lipstick of course i took my urban decay rush and i'm getting more and more heartbroken every time i use it because there is like nothing left nearly and it's one of my favorite go-to lipsticks ever i also took not one but two of these these are the elf um smoothing lip balms they are freaking amazing i cannot tell you how good these are these were a dollar i got them off shop miss a they are just fantastic and they're both empty. Cotton pads. I also took this Maricela cleansing water. This was out of a birch box. My friend gave me this. Um, it's got like a bit of oil in. It's just fantastic. Really expensive. Ridiculously expensive, in fact. But amazing. And I also took this MAC lipstick in the shade Lustering. This shade is stunning. It's beautiful. I love it. I did not wear it. Not even once. I took my little Benefit Gimme Brow. Fantastic stuff. I can't believe I've never tried it. It's just amazing. I love it. I love the brush. I love everything about it. Nail glue for the worst case scenarios. 
which we actually had a blow up unicorn and we saved him because his ear popped and we put all the sticky patches on and it never works so in the end we end up gluing him with nail glue and it works top tip take nail glue on holiday a miniature razor for when i could not bother to sort my eyebrows out cotton buds there's a million of these cotton buds in the bottom of my bag i also took this moroccan hair oil it was only a tester and i took it with me and this was amazing sticking your hair after being in the sea it was just fantastic i took not one but two jeffree star lipsticks and i believe i only wore these once each um i found that one looked a little bit too pale when i'd got a tan towards the end of the holiday and this one was i just wore it one night and i just freaking love the thing um we have rose matters and i can never pronounce that one sorry guys useless I took this MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base. I absolutely love it. It was only a sample. Yes, I used it. I used it a couple of times, but I did use it. I've also got this. This was out of a birch box. Now, this is called Polar, and it's ice mag icy magic. And basically, you roll it onto your eyelids and under eyes, and it's supposed to stop you looking tired and stuff. I love this stuff to the point that I have not stopped using it since I've got home. I love it. I love it. I also got this out of a birch box and I found this on the plane on the way home and it was £10 for, obviously, I'm hoping it was a bigger one than this, but I didn't buy it. It reminds me, it's for basically for anything. You can use it for your lips, any form of your skin, cuticles, beauty finishers, anything you bloody well want. Because, to be 100% truthful, it reminds me, it's as thick as Vaseline. It's got the consistency of Vaseline. Let me see if I can squeeze a little bit out. Yeah, it's got the consistency of Vaseline. Um, but obviously in a tube form. But do you know what? It's amazing stuff. I'd recommend that. I really would. I just had no money on the way home either, so, you know. The next thing I took was my MAC powder i absolutely love it for setting makeup and um, depending on what mood i was in depending on which one i used to be 100 truthful i wish i'd have just took that because some of the photos have got quite a bad flashback so you live you learn take your expensive stuff and the last item i had in my makeup bag was of course my max dirty blonde fluid line brow gel cream and it's running low again i need to buy some more of this stuff i need some money i need to just go splurge on a load of makeup because that's the sort of person i am but yes this was everything i took on holiday um the one thing i definitely definitely did not use was that um another thing i definitely did not use was that or that so i don't think i did oh no wait i didn't use that lipstick either i used at least once everything else so i don't think i did too bad there was only four items i didn't use so i didn't think that was too bad so i'm gonna put them away and i've emptied a couple of items which obviously you'll find in my empties regrets and reviews but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video of what was in my travel makeup bag a lot is what we've learned a lot a lot a lot so i'd like to thank you for watching take care i'll see you in a few days with another video if you did like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button somewhere on the screen there's going to be another video selected for you from youtube and somewhere else on the screen there's going to be one of my latest videos so i'd like to thank you so much for watching take care I'll see you in a few days with another video and bye bye